of the effort uh, with, with five guys down, but for Victor to, uh, for Elford to carry you throughout the way he did, uh, can you just describe the, the way he kind of willed you throughout, kind of the same way he did Wednesday night in Dallas? He did. He, he re he's the reason we, re we really got off to a good start. He carried over his effort, his intensity, his will from the Dallas game in the fourth quarter to start the game. And we've talked about getting off to good starts and uh, Elfred's energy, his focus, his will really started the game for us and it carried through the entire 48 minutes. Really proud of him, really proud of his effort, his growth, the way he's leading this group and his confidence right now. Where have you seen the biggest growth in him over the last uh, month and a half? I think it's more of a mentality. It's more of an awareness of feel, of confidence, the ability to just will his group to play harder, to play more focused, more intense. And it starts with him. And that's been his challenge as a rookie in this league. It's a very difficult thing to lead a group. And we've asked him to do that, and he's carrying that. He owns it, he's responsible to it, and we need that every single night. Coach, uh, the triple-double numbers are impressive, but the 10 assists and one turnover, talk about that for him. Just an impressive line there. I mean, he, every time he came off the pick and roll, every time he got down, you know, I felt like he made the right decision. He's finding open teammates. He's getting to the rim. He's finishing more. He's more confident. Uh, he's willing to step up to the free throw line. Um, I thought his decision making tonight was tremendous. And everybody fed off of that. I think we were moving the ball very well. We got some open looks. Uh, but we got 54 points in the paint again. That's a credit to Alfred Payton, Victor Oladipo, and everybody else that finished in that thing. So you're Drew, without five guys, you're without your second leading score, and you lose a lead in the second half. Can you just talk about the resolve of that bunch to, to come back and, and, and take over the game late in the fourth? Great resolve. And that, one of the biggest keys to the game was our bench production. There was a moment there in the third quarter where we needed some energy, uh, a new group, a new focus, and we, we uh, we came in with our bench, and they really delivered for us. They changed that game, the momentum, uh, the pressure on Aldridge, the rebounding effort, the pace of the game really changed with our bench. So you got to credit our group off the bench tonight. And then in the fourth quarter, our starters responded. We've been knocking on that door these last couple of games. We've been knocking on that door, and today we, you know, we got through. And I'm just really happy. I'm really proud of our group. It's hard to win in the NBA. It's hard to win a game in this league. And we've been knocking on that door against some very good opponents. And I'm really happy for them and proud of them that they get to absorb this win and uh, carry this on to our next game. There are a couple hustle plays there that Aaron Gordon provided in the fourth quarter. What did you see from him there in that final period uh, that was beneficial to you? I saw a competitive spirit. And that's his strength. He's a competitor. He wants to win. Uh, he's got great energy. He's a defender. And we saw that. He, he changed the game in a lot of ways. He got his hands on rebounds, deflected some passes, got a steal, got a put back. Some energy plays that we needed to get through that game against a very good opponent. He was tremendous in that. Damian Lillard had only two points in the second half. I know you talk about how it's that one person, but how much did Elford's defense have to do with that? His pressure really helped us tonight defensively. He was getting through screens. He's getting hit screen after screen with Lillard. And to fight through those screens, our bigs helped him with that. But if Elford doesn't get through the screens, it doesn't matter. And he had great awareness in the pick and roll, his effort to get through, to stay in front of Lillard, and to contest him. Um, just a great overall for Alfred Victor didn't have the best shooting night tonight, but he was still able to make big shots when you need when he needed, when the team needed him to. He was still able to be aggressive. Is is that an important part of his growth, his continued growth? That even when the shots aren't falling or he's getting to the rim, not getting getting the call, that he continues to stay aggressive and focus in on. Yeah, we we needed to be aggressive. He he creates a lot for us, and even when that shot's not dropping or he's not getting as many shots. He's producing a lot of action for us on the offensive end. 
He's commanding a lot of double teams. He, he attracts two players, and he's moving the ball very well. He's making a simple play. He's not overcomplicating his, his offensive game right now, and uh, we need that every single night. He's done a really good job. Jim, there was a game about two weeks ago where Alfred was 0 for 8, and he had another game and another game, like three in a row, kind of down ones. And the first words out of your mouth were, I, I believe in you. What, what did you say to him? What did you help him? How did you help him get out of that rut and, and get him back on track? Our players know we believe in them, and it's important that they know that. We trust them, and we put them in positions to succeed, and they respond. We believe in them, and that's not going to change. From player one through 15, that's why they're here. They wouldn't be here if we didn't believe in them. And I think all of us as individuals, as people, as human beings, when we know people believe in us, we respond better, we play better, we live life better, and, and that's that's what we're about, that's what our group's about, and I'm just really proud of, of him and the entire group. Co Coach, individually, you know, he had noticeably more confidence uh, throughout the four quarters of the life. I mean, do you see the same thing? This guy is, is playing at a whole different level tonight than what? I do, I do see a different spirit, a different confidence, uh, an aggressiveness that I think is new in the last three, four, five games. There's something different in his eye right now. And he makes us a very dangerous team when he's in that mode. And he's been that way the last couple games. So just just a wonderful kid. Well, when he was walking off the court tonight, uh, you know, he barely smiled or anything like that. Maybe Dante got a smile at him in the post game. But does the way he responds to success. What have you seen in terms of the way he responds to success that you see as, as part of his uh, makeup? He's a very humble kid and I admire him for that. The, the humility he plays with, the passion he plays with, and our, his teammates feel that. He's a very competitive kid and uh, he doesn't get too high, too low. He stays in the moment and he's about winning. And I think we saw that at the end of the game. He, he's, he's the most happy guy, but he, he keeps his poise. He keeps the strength about him throughout the 48 minutes in the locker room, and our team really feeds off of that. Everyone good? All right.